So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, yeah one more concept of reading type of question. So that type of question is called as categorization question. Okay, categorization or classification question we call them. Okay, the task here is okay so there will be few statements given to you so these are your questions okay so in this case there are four questions okay one two three and four and then there are three options a b and c okay so you have to match these statements with these options okay you have to match these statements with these categories okay so for example okay so i think i can give you an example okay so it might be there are few questions okay so which gives you the name of the books Okay, book names are given to you. Might be uh, there are four book names that are given to you, and uh, the options are given to you. There are three options. So these options are nothing but the authors of these books. So what you have to do? So you have to match these books with the right authors. So that is your task. Okay, so similar task. Okay, for example, so how to do this type of question now? How to deal with it? Okay, so now there are questions and then there are options. Okay, so we know that there are three methods to find out answers for the question. So out of which the famous method is called as scanning. Okay, so the link uh, for this scanning method so is been given in the description box. So you can go if you have not seen the video and uh, you can get to know exactly what is scanning method. Okay, now in scanning method, so what do we do? We select the keywords, correct? So usually we select keywords from the questions. But not in this case okay what do we do we select keywords from the options options itself will consider as keywords because if you read the question there are so many questions okay four and uh, yeah sometimes there will be more than four questions and uh, there are only three options it will be easy to go with the keywords from the options okay so for example i was telling books and authors okay so it might be the first author name is xyz okay this is a name name of the author so this option itself i will consider as my keyword xyz so what I have to do, I have to scan for this particular author name in my paragraph or passage. So once I find out that name in the passage, so I stop there and read only that portion in details to find out which book that person has written. Okay, suppose for example, might be while reading that, so might be the name of this book, okay, will match with this author. So you will be writing your option A in front of question number two. Okay. So continue reading with the same author because you see the options are less and questions are more. That means the options can repeat. Correct. This author might have written one more book as well. So continue reading a little bit further. So suppose if you find a book, so then it is fine. If not, then go with the second keyword. That is your second option. Okay. Might be the second author is ABC. So repeat the same procedure again. Okay, so you go to the, uh, I mean, scan for this particular word in your passage. And once you found out that word, read that portion in details and find out which book the person has written. Might be the person has written this book. Okay, book number three, whatever the name. So in front of that, you write B. Okay, and don't stop and go with the next uh, keyword yet. Okay, because this person also might have written some other book you need to search. Okay, so suppose if you get a book, so then write down the answer or else go with the option C. Now, one more thing. So if you have read properly with these two options, A and B, then there is no need to compare the third option itself, C option. Okay. So you can straight away write for whatever questions that are remaining, you can put option as C because it will be correct. Fine. Because you have read properly. So you didn't find any other books for A and B. So that means definitely the remaining two books has to be written by the author C. Correct. So suppose if you're not sure, like if you have read properly for the first two options, so then definitely go with the third option. Okay. Consider that as keyword scan and read them and try to find out the answer. Okay. If you're not hundred percent sure about uh, the answers. Fine. Right. Okay. So in a similar way, so we have to do this task as well. So what they have told, so categorize the information below. Okay. Into the following categories. Okay. So these are your information. And these are your three categories. Please note that for this particular practice, answers will not come in order in the page. Yeah, definitely answers will not come in order. And choose the correct letter A to C for your answers. Letters may be used more than once. So that is what I was saying. So options can be repeated and you have to write options A, B, C in front of your question. Okay, fine. So what they have said, bedrooms did not seem spacious. The beds were not flat and horizontal, but rather angled downwards. Pillows could be decorative, mattresses were stuffed with wool. Okay, so I will quickly read the questions and get to understand what is it. And now the, my first keyword, ancient Egypt. So I just scan for it. 
So in, uh, in this case, see, the passage or the text is very short. Okay, so it would be better if you read everything. Okay, so like uh, the method that I told you to scan for particular place. So that is when in the text is very lengthy. Okay, particularly for the passages that you get. Fine, right? So since here the text is very small, so we have the time and we can read everything quickly, I guess. Uh, okay, or else might be we can also try to follow the skimming technique as well. Okay, anything would go. So ancient Egypt. So where is ancient Egypt? Okay, so they're talking about ancient Egypt in the beginning. Okay, so I read this portion in details. Okay, and find out out of these four, which of the belongs to this ancient Egypt category. Okay, so... Okay, so it's very much in the same for 2000 years. So they are among the most, uh, what is that, uh, ingredient furniture items because of their structure. Uh, many were slanted down at an incline from the headboard. Okay, I think I've read somewhere. Okay, what is it? Bedrooms did not sit. The beds were not flat and horizontal, but rather angled downwards. So what they're saying, beds were not flat, rather angled downwards, they're saying. So see here, many were slanted down. So they are talking about furniture item because of their structure, correct? Many were slanted down at an incline from the headboard. A footboard ensured that the sleeper would not slip off in the middle of the night. Okay, I think this is, they are talking about a bed. Okay, because there is a headboard and footboard and they said sleeper would not slip off. So that means it was slanted down. So that means it is uh, angled downwards. So I think this uh, particular thing belongs to, op uh, I mean, ancient Egypt, okay? So in front of uh, question number two, I'll write my option as B, okay? Fine, I'll re continue reading with the same, uh, what is that, uh, keyword, uh, because uh, ancient Egypt, because I said the answers might repeat, correct? So anything? Uh, Bulls, uh, paw and claw frequently identified and like the mattresses were usually made of uh, wooden slats, plaited string and reed which then ha held woolen cushions or some other soft material. Okay, so they are talking about pillows could be decorated. Mattresses were stuffed with wool. They are talking about mattresses here. The mattress was usually made of wooden slats, plaited string or reed which then held woolen cushions. Okay, so in this case it is woolen cushions not mattresses were stuffed with wool they didn't say mattresses were stuffed with wool so they're talking about woolen cushions and other soft material shit okay nothing so done i finished reading with ancient egypt i go with my next keyword ancient roman okay so roman is here okay i start reading again pretty much same it would have mattresses on top it's stuffed with with a straw or wool blankets mattresses it's stuffed with feathers or straw woolen okay so in this case also, they are not telling that mattresses were stuffed with wool. Mattresses on top of it, stuffed with feathers or straw. Okay. And wool blankets. They are talking about woolen blankets, not mattresses were stuffed with wool. So this also cannot be answered for here. Okay. The ceiling were vaulted and the lower over the bed, often making the room appear cramped and stuffy place. Okay. Here you can see. The ceiling are vaulted and lower above the bed often making the room appear cramped and stuffy place. Cramped means very tight or something like that and stuffy place they are talking about. So bedrooms did not seem spacious. So I think this answer would go perfect with this. Okay, so uh, this will belong to ancient Rome. Uh, sorry. Okay, why did I write B here? So it was ancient Egypt, right? Yeah. So here it was A and here it is in, uh, yeah. yeah. Ancient room. Okay, I continue reading. Okay, beds were sh uh, shortly after the home. Again, pillows were held at added. Continued to be the uh, classes of all Greek. It consisted of uh, sheepskin and pillows. Okay, they're talking about pillows, but they didn't mention the pillows could be decorative. Correct? Yes. Okay, fine. So I have read properly with my two options A and B, and whatever is remaining, I will put it as C. So my third and fourth option. So I'll definitely put it as C because I didn't get with anything with ancient Egypt and Rome. Suppose if you are uh, not very sure, so just you can uh, try to re-verify things, okay? Pillows could be decorative and mattresses were stuffed with wool. So we can search here, okay? Okay, so these simple beds had a cover of ticking mattress, which were made of linen or woolen cloth, and the usual material was which filled with either wool or dried weeds. So in this case, they are telling mattresses were stuffed with either wool or dried wheat. So that is what is being asked, correct? So it is C. That means answer is correct. Pillows could be decorative. So where are the pillows? Okay, pillows are seen. 
which were intended to support the back. The covers of such pillows were striped in several pictures on ancient vases and therefore probably of various colors. Correct. So that means they are talking that the uh, pillows were also decorative. Correct. So there were several pictures and of various colors. Okay. Yeah. And even here they are saying, okay, ancient pictures, two other square pillows were seen. Okay. So that means pillows also could be decorative. That we are, yes. So whatever option we had written C is also correct for this case. So that is what you will be doing. Okay. So read with the two options, the first two options properly and whatever is, is remaining. So you can put it as your option number C. Okay. And uh, if you have doubts, you can re-verify like what I had done here. Uh, okay, if you do not have time, no need to re-verify. Go forward and then might be at the end if you have time. So you can come back and uh, do the re-verification. Fine, right? Okay, so this is all about the categorization type of question. Okay, so it is very straightforward, simple. Okay, very easy type of question. So just a scan for the, your uh, options itself and you will find your answers very quickly. Okay, so if you go with the questions as keywords, so then it might take a little more time. Okay, I hope you are clear with this concept. Okay, so in the next video, so we'll meet with some other type of questions as well. Okay, so please subscribe to the channel and share it as much as possible. Okay, and uh, keep learning. So I'll see you in the next video.